So joining us now is Dr. David Grinspoon. He's a distinguished visiting scholar in astrobiology at the U.S. Library of Congress. Dr. Grinspoon, thank you so much for being with us this morning. Good morning. What's so significant about the Sentinel mission? What's the big deal? Well, it's an attempt to, to uh, begin a new phase where we're continuously monitoring the health of our planet in uh, a way that will allow us to respond to natural disasters and emergencies, but also allow us to do a better job of a long-term assessment of the kinds of changes that are happening to our planet so that we can understand what it is that we are doing to the planet and, and sort of uh, do, do, a, do a better job of um, really taking care of our of our home world so it's mm -hmm. it's it's really a, a, an opportunity to uh, as a planet do do a better job of sort of self observation and reflection and um, give us the data we need to scientifically really um, move forward in an intelligent way hopefully in managing our planet but you made an interesting point just now you said the US doesn't have a way to get people in space so is the US losing its edge in space well, it, it, currently, we, we, uh, it's, it, things, this future's uncertain because uh, funding has been uh, at least flat. They say flat is the new up. <laughs> and, um, and so we're, we're, we're worried about uh, the ability to keep launching new spacecraft. But right now, we haven't lost our edge. I mean, we have amazing, we have a spacecraft on, on its way to Pluto next year, first ever visit to that planet. We have a spacecraft around Saturn called Cassini, returning amazing pictures. So w right now, we are doing incredible things in space. It's just a question of the investment in the future. Are we training the students? Are we preparing to launch the spacecraft that will keep us on that leading edge in coming decades. And some of us are very worried about that because of the funding decisions that are being made right now. All right. David Grinspoon, distinguished visiting scholar in astrobiology at the U.S. Library of Congress in Washington, D.C. this morning. Dr. Grinspoon, thanks so much for being with us. Thanks a lot.